Today we're going to be taking a look at the iOS 13 swipe keyboard for iPhone. I'm going to show you all the features of the keyboard and things in messaging as well just to kind of give you a good idea. So with that, if you are new here and you like iPhone fixes, tips, tricks, and app discovery, make sure you smack that subscribe button as my beautiful wife is mentioning. And don't forget to leave a like. With that said, if you haven't got the new iOS 13 update, make sure you do update. And there's already a 0.1 update. So 13.1 is now out. You want to make sure you go through and <laughs> my wife's having way too much fun here. So make sure you do go ahead and update your phone because the 13.1 does make the phone run a lot smoother. So here we go. We're in messaging. I'm going to show you a few things here. We're going to start with the swipe keyboard. So all you have to do is go to a, a letter and go to the next. So for example, if I did my name, I would be K E V I N and let go. And that automatically does my name. So then I could say, um, S A I D said, I'm not even putting a space in. I'm just doing the next one. H E L L O. You kind of just draw to the where you want to go and that's how the swipe keyboard works it is a lot better than any other keyboard has been they've done a really great job on this it took some time it definitely took some time but the swipe keyboard's awesome let me go ahead and show you a few other things here with messaging as well uh, we do have the numbers obviously that just takes you to the numbers and then you have the smiley face. If you click on that, it's going to go ahead and take you to your emojis. So you can go ahead and choose any emoji there by scrolling to the side. You can also go on the bottom and pick the category and kind of quickly get over to what you're looking for. When you're done, you can just hit the ABC and it'll take you right back. You also have the microphone at the bottom right if you want to go ahead and dictate anything. Say you're going somewhere and you don't have time to type something out, you can hit that. And it does keep up pretty well. It does a great job with that. Swipe keyboard also has a bar above the top. The first one is photos. You want to send a photo, you just click on that. Next thing is the app store. If you want to go ahead and share an app with someone, that's a great way to do it. Then we have Memojis next. You can click on that and you can create your own. This is kind of what I look like. So I guess that's as good as I can get. And what it does is it makes a whole lot of Memojis for you, just like that. The cool thing about Memojis is at the top here, you can see share your name and photo. So if I would hit share there. So when I hit share there, it does go ahead and share what I have selected. I think I had to set it up in the profile. I just kind of have them here. I didn't really set up the profile yet, but you can do that. You also have other ones that you can choose here to play around with. Pretty fun ones. Next we have like animated GIFs, but they're more of like Apple kind. So I could be like, you know, did you do your exercise yet? And once we send that, we're going to hit this and there's a bike. So I can put the bike and send that. Kind of cool. Next, we have Apple Pay. You can go ahead and hit that if you owe anyone money and you want to go ahead and send them money. You can go ahead and do it that way. So she said, hey, don't forget to subscribe. You can click and hold on that. And when you do, other options will come up. We'll give that a thumbs up. <laughs> ah, ha, ha would be good too. Next, we have Animojis. Animojis shows when I'm talking. So... If I wanted to be a draft, I could for this video. I can record up to a 30 second clip and send it. So yeah, that's what that's about. Should definitely check it out. Next we have gifts. You can go ahead and find some gifts if you want to send some. I always like Shaq there. He's always pretty funny. <laughs> you can go ahead and scroll down and look through those. You could also search on the top. Good if you want to mix things up. Next we have music. I don't have Apple Music, but if you want to, you could click on that and go ahead and send a track over. If you click on the bar and hold it, it does make it go a little bigger. I think I have a song from a long time ago, so I could share that if I wanted to. 
And then finally, you have digital touch. If you go here, you can write something and go ahead and send it. I can write, hey, and then just hit the arrow and it'll go ahead and send it. Next to the iMessage to the right, there's also a recording button. So I can go ahead and click and hold on it. And as I talk, it's going through and recording my message so I could actually send a voice message directly. So that way I'm not typing anything out. I'm just saying, hey, what's going on? How you doing? And everything like that. When you're done, you just stop and it'll stop. And then you hit the arrow up and it'll go ahead and send the message. Now on their side, it does disappear after a while. They can click keep if they want to keep it and save it for later. Most of the time, it's something that they don't want to keep though. So it'll go away in the future. That's the iPhone keyboard. I think it's pretty awesome. You do have photos to the left and app store here as well. So if you want to snap a picture and send it, you can do it that way too. The keyboard is pretty amazing. I think it's pretty awesome. So it writes very fast and I tried to mess it up. I think I've had one word so far not work out and it wasn't even a, a common word. Still getting used to it because I did not test the beta this year because I had too many problems with 12.0 beta. So I didn't want to test it this year. But for coming out with 13.1 already, they're fixing all the bugs and it's running awesome. So I hope you really do enjoy this. I do have another video about dark mode that's recently come out. I'll put it up top in case you're curious. I actually just put it in the cards here for you. And I'll also put some other videos here I think you'll like to check out. Thank you so much for the view, and I'll see you over there.